YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame ballot. Here we go. Uh, so first up, I'm going to follow the trend of uh, what I've been seeing from other channels, which is there, there's definitely a, a bit of a push uh, to get some of the very, very uh, long-running kind of OG channels in. Uh, I'm going to follow that trend. Uh, so I am going to nominate uh, two very long-running channels, uh, Amish Dave Archer and BD Kane. Uh, both of these guys have just been doing it for a real long time. And consistently, and while I think that longevity, of course, is not everything, right? Like, I mean, if you take uh, even the regular, regular, you know, sports careers, right? Longevity doesn't necessarily mean that someone is Hall of Fame worthy. They could have been, you know, mediocre for a really long time. But just because they are doing it a long time doesn't mean that they deserve to get in. However, I think these two... Uh, gentlemen do deserve to get in uh, doing it for over a decade and consistently I mean come on so Amish Dave Archer and BD Kane uh, my next nomination is Dead Guy Cardboard so Dead Guy Cardboard uh, is a channel um, I had actually considered maybe not voting for uh, but I changed, I basically changed my philosophy uh, after thinking about things for a while. Uh, so the, uh, by, the reason I wouldn't uh, initially vote for Dead Guy Cardboard is that he maybe uh, doesn't really put out a whole lot of videos, right? So he's not sort of, I would say he's a semi-active channel. And I had originally been like, well, but the, you got to be active to do it. But I changed my mind. So here's where I'm at now on the channels that are semi-active, I would say. So maybe these channels do like one video. Maybe most frequently they do like one video a month or uh, one video every couple months, like that kind of thing. So I was thinking about it. And I had decided that these channels, if they're good channels, they're a little bit like Marlon Brando. Okay, just stick with me here. So Marlon Brando, of course, is a great actor. Uh, he's a legend, but he really wasn't a very prolific actor. Uh, he wasn't in everything, right? So there are some actors, you know, Morgan Freeman's in everything. He's one of those guys where he's in everything, right? And it's not a knock on Morgan Freeman. Uh, it's just a different style, right? Whereas Marlon Brando, especially in the latter stretch of his career, uh, and maybe he got a little eccentric or whatever, but he, he really didn't do very many movies. But he's still, you put that guy in the actor hall of fame, right? So anyway, that's a bit of a digression. But Dead Guy Cardboard, great channel. Um, just always shows fire cards, very no nonsense. And Dead Guy Cardboard also has like 3,500 subscribers, which for me, look, it's not subscriber count. It matters. It's very low on the things that matter. However, it is the YouTube sports card hall of fame, right? So maybe we're arguing, uh, semantics here. But it is the Hall of Fame. If you have 3,500 subscribers, it, at least in this little, you know, nook of YouTube, it kind of attests to your fame or how many people are kind of into you. So I think the fact that Dead Guy Cardboard has 3,500 subscribers uh, does does play a role in its, its little way. It, it does count for something, right? Hall of Fame. Uh, we could argue semantics, right? Uh, kind of like MVP or... Um, but yeah, anyway, bit of a digression there. Dead guy cardboard. Uh, this next channel, uh, is one that, um, I definitely have to vote for. Um, although I don't, you know, I don't think he's going to get in. I don't see too many people voting for him. Uh, so that's why I'm going to vote for him just to get him out there. Although there's a good chance you know about him. That's vintage card Steve. So Vintage Card Steve is a great channel. 
Steve, Steve's a cool guy. He It's real no nonsense again, which is what I like. Someone showing cards who likes cards and, uh, and the, the cool thing about Steve is that he really, really is dedicated to the shout outs. Like, I don't know that there's, well, there, basically there's two people I've seen who are really particularly, uh, dedicated to shouting out channels and, and recognizing channels. Uh, Steve is one such channel. I, like every video he makes pretty much, he's got another channel's handle in it, or he's saying, check out this channel, check out this channel. Uh, and then the other one is God is great. Uh, just sort of an extra little bonus shout out. That's not a vote because he's not eligible, it seems, but uh, vintage card Steve just really dedicated to shouting out other channels and stuff. He uh, he he's got my vote. Uh, so yeah, vintage card Steve. Next channel Star Huddle seventy seven. Uh, the artist formerly known as Near Mint Musings Brent. Uh, Brent's just got an awesome channel. Uh, I think I've this is probably my well it might be my second year in a row voting for Brent or maybe it's my third year in a row. <laughs> Um, Brent is really just, uh, what I really like about his channel is he's just a really thoughtful guy. He, he really, he always sort of like drops some, um, uh, well, musings, right? That was his old channel name and, and thoughts about things, uh, thoughtful guy and, you know, just, uh, good taste in cards, uh, just another channel I really like a lot. Brent Star Huddle 77. Uh, next one, uh, we got Donnie Baseball, Don's Field of Dreams cards. What can you really say about Don? Big community guy, you know, great collection. Uh, Don's just a great channel and a great guy. So Don's Field of Dreams is my next vote. Uh, next channel, I have got the Vintage Composer. Uh, vintage composer this guy's every video this guy makes is like a mini documentary i mean the production values are great the narration and it's always really interesting well considered topics vintage composer i think is a, a severely underrated channel uh and one that you should check out if you haven't and it has my vote so vintage composer getting down to the last two here uh, so my next vote goes to Vintage Card Curator. Uh, so Vintage Card Curator, uh, this is a similar sort of uh, uh, thing to uh, Debt Guy Cardboard, where I initially I was hesitant under my old philosophy where maybe the channel needs to be a little more active uh, before I changed my mind, uh, because he doesn't make too many videos, uh, but when he does, they are just really, really good. Vintage Card Curator. Uh, basically, uh, this guy does really meticulous research, and he's really focused on things like, um, or at least he was, you know, a couple years ago and stuff, sort of um, exposing some questionable practices by the grading companies using data and research. Uh, and just really interesting topics overall uh, with uh, really good, you know, narration and polish. Uh, Vintage Card Curator is a great channel, um, so you should check it out. And then finally, uh, kind of one of those guys where it seems like I'm a little surprised he's not in, uh, Jimmy Guns. So my last vote is for Jimmy Guns. Uh, Jimmy Guns... Admittedly, uh, I don't watch his channel too much, actually, uh, because, you know, he, he's not quite as much into, like, showing the PC and kind of, but, you know, just the level of engagement with the community, with the hangouts and the auctions, charity work. I mean, Jimmy Guns definitely uh, deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. So my last vote is for Jimmy Guns. Um, he also one time several years ago on a, on a uh, live stream said that I should be a announcer at a gentleman's club. So I thought that was really funny and I've never forgotten that. So Jimmy guns last vote. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.